Hi Capricorn, welcome to your May 2020 Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, Peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, Cappies, let's have a look, see what the month ahead has in store for you. Throwing them all over the place there. And this month, for your actions and interactions with the world at large, you get. The Seven of Pentacles, all right, so this is about you deciding what you're going to invest your time on. This is about you getting ready to move in a specific direction. Now, your Seven of Pentacles is about what you invest your time into. It's about what you're ready, willing, and able to play the long game with. And remember, you guys do that better than any other sign, apart from Taurus, I would say. Um, I would say, yeah, when it comes to being in it for the long haul, you, Taurus and, and possibly Scorpio, I think you guys, are, you three kind of have the market cornered when it comes to patience and, and you know, all of that sort of stuff. Definitely not uh, not any of the signs that I'm known for. Um, but yeah, your actions and interactions with the world at large, this is what you do. It's how you show up. It's the steps that you take. This is about you getting very clear now on what it is that you're really ready, willing and able to put your time into, where it is that you're going to invest not only your, your time and your energy, but also your resources. This is about you thinking about or putting into plan, uh, putting into plan, putting it into action, uh, your long term plan. This is about you starting to execute some of your goals now, which is a really interesting thing because, I mean, at the moment, obviously, everyone's kind of like, well, I'm putting my plans on hold because I don't know what it's going to look like tomorrow. Um, <laughs> that's my my uh, that's my impression of Maureen. <laughs> and no, you know, all love to, to anybody that has that name. But uh, here in the UK, we have certain names that we used to say like, oh, she's a bit of a Maureen or she's a bit of a Doris. Like, you know, it's just a, it's a, we, we're, you know, British sense of humour. What can I say? But yeah, uh, this really does feel for me like you're putting into plan. Uh, you're putting into action your long-term plans. This is about you saying, right, okay, you know what? What am I going after now? When all of this starts to move, you know, it's not just about, oh, yay, look, I can go out of my house again. It, this is about you saying to yourself, right, what are the long-term plans here? What are the long-term goals? This is what I want to start to invest in now, sooner rather than later. And it's like a lot of you are saying, you know what, I'm not going to wait for things to move forward. I'm going to start investing this time and effort now. Um, for your money and materials, you have the seven of wands. So what do we see here before we've even gone anywhere? Two sevens. Sevens are about endurance. They are about having the grit and the patience to stick with something, uh, especially the seven of pentacles. Your seven of wands is about standing your ground. So when it comes to the money and materials, it looks like maybe there's something that you even need to shell out for that isn't necessarily your expense. Uh, it may be that there's something this month that comes up that's just going to require you to to put in when it comes to resources, when it comes to finances. Maybe there's something that depletes you financially this month. And it and I know you guys love to have a reserve, right? If any, if, if there's a certain number that gets too low, you know, in the kitty or the rainy day fund, you get freaked out. And it does look like, I'm sorry to say, that this month something is going to give your savings a big dent. Uh, but don't worry about it because whatever, you know, I say, don't worry about it, Russ says. Um, you know, it's not so much don't worry about it. It's just don't think of it in that way. Whatever it is that you are shelling out for is a long-term investment. This is, you know, it's something that you're going to have to, you have to take the hit now, but in the long run, it will only serve you to, to you know, push you forward or boost you in some way, shape or form. So, you know, although it's not easy, don't freak out totally because you, you're going to be able to bounce back from it. When it comes to your health, this is a month for you to really look after your immune system, Capricorn. Uh, this is a month for you to really look after, you know, the inner workings, your lymphatic system, your immune system. These things even need to be stimulated or boosted. Now, 
I am not a medical professional, I can't give you medical advice. What I can tell you is that your lymph system relies on exercise, deep breathing, uh, and uh, lymphatic drainage for movement. Your blood has a, a pump, it's got your heart, right? It moves that around your body. In order to move the lymph around your body, you need to exercise, you need to move your physical body. Uh, really deep breathing, very, very deep focused, intentional breathing is really good for the lymphatic system, uh, as is skin brushing, you know, just rubbing, uh, you know, get like a really soft bristle, bristle brush and brush the top layers of the skin. It really stimulates the lymphatic system, but it does look like this month, you guys are gonna to need to look after that part of your body or that part of yourself. Uh, and then finally, for your home, it looks like you're doing some sort of works to the home. Now, a lot of people are doing that sort of thing right now because it's the only bloody thing they can do. Uh, this looks like some sort of maintenance though, something that hasn't and something that needs upkeeping. Uh, if you've put it off and put it off because you don't want somebody coming into your house and you know potentially making the household sick, it does look like this month again you're not going to be able to get around it. You just going to have to go through so if that means having to call in a plumber or a builder or whatever just get it done once it's done it's out of the way for your communications and conversations you have the ace of wands finally some good news right your ace of wands says that communications is good this month it looks like there's a lot of laughter it looks like there are a lot of really spontaneous moments for you to be happy and it does look like you're getting some sort of spontaneous good news now for some of you this could be about uh, work but for a lot of you i just think this is about good times or happier times that are making their way in remember your aces are always new beginnings so it does look like in some way shape or form there is a new lease on life when it comes to your communications your conversations maybe they just take a lighter turn something that you have been battling for with or against for a long time comes to an end and you have a new start here which is brilliant right so expect some good news this month um, and then finally for your heart and half sector you have the king of wands so you've got a lot of fire here uh, Capricorn this is a lot of fire energy for you guys now who is the king of wands Aries, Sagittarius or Leo to start with. This is somebody that could feature very heavily for you this month. It could be somebody that you're interacting with or maybe this is the person that brings you this good news. Sorry, I'm going to itch. <laughs> uh, the other thing about this card is remember it's about visibility. Um, and also remember that the King of Wands is about fun, vibrancy, laughter, happiness, joy, all of those things. The other thing is this guy, and you know, everyone says like, when, when I say this, I think a lot of people are surprised, but remember he's a, a mini nod to the emperor and the emperor is, is the ultimate ruler, right? So while this guy is fun, feisty, vibrant, all the rest of it, when he says, this is the way that things are going, he commands that respect and this month it looks like when it comes to your relationships you are leading the way in some respect this is about you kind of being that figurehead or being at the forefront of the family or maybe you know taking your relationship in a certain direction so this month this looks like you are really pushing ahead with something right which is is great for your first week of the month you have the full card, new things, new places, new people. This is about you initiating something that you are ready, willing and able to put your time and effort into now. This is about putting whatever the long-term plan is, this month is the month where you're gonna say, you know what, come what may, whether I have everything that I need or whether I don't, I'm going to start now and I'm going to start here. For your second week of the month, you have the chariot card underneath the, now look at that, you've got three sevens, triple seven, threes, right? Three sevens is always a good thing. And this is like the lucky number, but it's also the vibrational energy where you're mixing spirit and matter, where you bring uh, the spiritual and the tangible together. This is great, so, you know, 777 is a number of, of bringing the physical and the spiritual worlds together. So there is good news here for you. When it comes to the finances, like I said, whatever you are taking the hit of now, 
you will reap the rewards or the benefits from later at a later date so don't don't panic when you think like oh you know my savings is being depleted don't freak out straight away because it means that whatever you're doing now you will see solid concrete results at a later date for your third week of the month you've got the wheel of fortune there is good news happy news something that is going to truly make you uh, you know something that's going to make your heart sing is what's happening for you this month which is lovely the wheel of fortune is about being in the right place at the right time but sometimes it's also about the synchronistic happenings that are a response to the efforts and the energies that we've already put out into the world something that you have already done already finished already completed is now going to be good news for you and it does look like wherever this good news is coming from it's possibly overseas it does look like it's somewhere that is at a distance from you and then finally for your fourth week of the month you have the hermit card underneath the uh, king of wands you know what the first thing that i thought as soon as i saw this was heavy is the head right because you're at the forefront and you're having to make some of the really big decisions here this month heavy as the head that wears the crown right there is going to be something this month maybe you have to have a conversation maybe you have to make a certain decision and it kind of feels for me if i'm completely honest with you that this is it's kind of like at that point where nothing else can be done and whatever decision you make i kind of get the feeling that everyone around you will back you in that decision all right so just sit tight with it that's my advice your key to the month is is the four of cups all right so there are it's going to be a month of surprises for you for sure but the good news here is that you can't foresee all of it so just because you're going to have a lot of surprises and maybe a few challenges this month doesn't mean that every surprise that comes up this month is going to be one that you hate uh, <laughs> that's the thing with Capricorns you guys don't really do surprises you're just like no no I, just tell me what it is and I'll act surprised and I always used to say to my sister like that doesn't make any sense whatsoever and it's like she's like no that's fine I can I can act surprised I just don't want to be surprised and you're like okay head scratcher my aquarium brain doesn't it's not wired that way <laughs> you know I, i'm just like oh yay you know even if i dislike what it is i'm like yay and if, if even if i love what it is i'm still like yay so it doesn't really for me it just doesn't compute you guys are awesome you know i love you listen have an amazing month let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you take care and i'll see you soon